Right, hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nothing to Everything. I am going to see what I'm going to do. See what the daily tasks are, maybe go and complete those, because I do need to get them done. So I feel like I might do those for a while, sorry for bashing the mic. I do need to do them, and getting them done sooner rather than later is probably better, and hopefully you start enjoy it. I don't know, it's up to you, <laughs> it's like completely on you whether you enjoy these or not. Um, so hopefully they're a bit of fresh Descenders-ish content for me to give you. So it's not the samey samey stuff over and over again. Um, but I don't know what the tasks are even going to be. They could be really 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 tedious or they could just be something super simple. Uh, I don't actually know and I'm just waiting to find out because this game sometimes takes forever to load. Here we go. Complain and the game starts to work for some reason. I'm complaining more. There we go. <laughs> right, let's see what we got. We have four tracks at dusk. That's kind of super ultra tedious. Um, do oh my god, wheelie for three seconds, five dimes. Right, yeah, these get rather long, so I'm going to attempt them. Uh, we're just going to do it in the Highlands. Hopefully this is enough content for you. Uh, I'll give you some verbal, you know, speaking, so it's not that boring. But getting all the way to dusk to do it twice to then do it again is rather long. What I'm going to try and do is just do the wheelie one straight away. So let's get the wheelie up. We're going to... Hello? I'm good at these. Oh, what? Okay, that counted. I don't care about the people passing me, I'm wheeling today. There's another one done, then I've got to drop it. Bring it back up. Drop it. See, this is super simple. Pick it back up. Do a backflip. Oh, I was hoping I could land into another one. And then just do the last one here. Bing, done. Right, yeah. Easy wheelie mode. That's what I had to do get those out of the way. See if I can catch this guy. Let's see if we can pass him. He's got the Halloween outfit on. So he loves a bit of code gear. Guy who might not be very good at the game. What a weird time. That's what I mean. That, right there, what I just saw, is what you need to stop doing if you want to get good at this game. Because you need to never do that. It is ridiculous. It is unbelievable that you're not comfortable playing the game like that. You should absolutely be able to do that. Just be able to take that ramp and not have an issue with it. And definitely not crash on the slightest bit next to it. You should be fine there. That's what you should be up to, is being good in that situation. Right, that's that node done. Oh, we have a sponsor one, uh, which we can actually do, whatever. We also have to do two boss jumps, so what I will do is um, go to the next node. Uh, next, you know, I'll go to the forest. I'll, we'll get it to dusk, uh, do both of the dusk ones, and then once we've done that, we'll hit the boss jump. And once we've hit the boss jump, we'll obviously go to the next area, and then I'll try and do the next boss jump as well, because I've got to survive that as well, so... It's worth doing them both. Finish in 35 seconds. It's probably possible, actually. If I can keep pro racing line on. Probably could get it. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, sub 30. Very cool. Easy. Right. Uh, this next node. I don't, know, I don't know about getting loads of rep. It's not really worth it. I'm just trying to actually do what I'm meant to be doing. So... What have we got? Finish out letting go of the acceleration is doable. Just got to make sure I don't also touch the brake. Because I do want to collect some limes because on the forest bus jump sometimes it doesn't spawn properly. And that is a bit of an issue. So having extra lives for that just to test the waters is quite useful. So I'm going to look to try and collect as many as I can without throwing them in the bin whilst trying to get them. So the, the, the strategy is... is get the extra life bonus without losing any lives so if you don't think that you can do it without losing any lives just don't bother with it it's fine to keep the same amount of lives that you have rather than losing one trying to great trying to gain one is com completely fine doing that is so much simpler
Oh, definitely got there in time. 31 seconds. Very cool. Um, it is in the boss jump yet because obviously it is still daytime. So I need to keep just doing nodes around it. And this zero steepness one is obviously going to be quite tedious. Um, because I need to actually change the daytime. And you have to do a certain amount of nodes before the time of day changes. So I do need to be doing those. So that is what I'm going to do. Is quickly try and get the daytime to actually change. Once I've done that, then obviously we'll go to the bus jump on the second one. So we'll do one where it changes to dusk once, and then it will also count uh, if we do the bus jump at dusk. It will count as obviously doing another node at dusk and the bus jump one out of the way. So that works out for me, doing it that way around. I don't know where you're getting 65 kilometers an hour on here. That's rapid to be doing that. Um, I'm going to take... It's not really worth taking fakie balance here as much as I love fakie balance, which uh, because I love it so much, I'm just going to take it anyway. Right, oh, here's the first dusk node, so we'll do this one. Um, yeah, there's no point in taking fakie balance here. I can't really use it to my advantage. Like, I can try, but it's not really worth it, you know? You just want to end up riding normally to do that uh, get a clean landing if there is a stunt I can do that because there's not really enough height to sort of even attempt to get a clean landing off of anything nice that's one at dusk and here's the second one so we've got eight lives that should be fine for this I can just jump this is rather simple to jump so hopefully I have no problems doing this bit because Getting four seconds of airtime is super easy, and plus, doing this jump is rather simple. It's just making sure I keep those lives all the way to the boss jump in the forest. I'm just going to bunny hop every now and again so I can increase that timer. It does actually increase each time you're in the air, even for the slightest amount of bits, so if you are bunny hopping, it still counts. It still counts. So, yeah, there's only... You only ever do two Dusk nodes, that's why it's set to four, because it makes you then go out and play the game even more. So that's why that is set to four. I don't like speed wobbles, I can't lie. I know it's not, you know, super hard, but it's quite nice to have. Yeah, two nodes at Dusk, so this would have just gone straight to night time, but instead it would go to the forest, and then we can get the other two done in the next area. Hey, you've managed to do that in sub 40. Oh, there's a nice chunk of uh, nodes here. I see what people say when they say, look for the Mega Ramp, it's really easy to spot because everyone's at it. You sort of riot, that is a good method. If you can't find the Mega Ramp, definitely look for the red little numbers if you don't play in offline mode because it actually does tell you where it is because that's where everyone's chilling. Everyone's on the Mega Ramp. Hey, finish without breaking, that's all I was aiming for. Did make it take a lot longer. That felt extremely slow. Uh, right, we'll do this one because it's got a bit of steepness to it. And hopefully it takes a bit less time because there's more steepness to it. Four near misses, that is one I'm going to pass on because you never know when it's going to count and when it doesn't. Like, I'll try it here. You need a bit of speed to count as a near miss. But I don't know how close you actually have to be. It's a combination of speed and being close to something more than anything. Ooh, I don't like it. It's ooh, it's too risky for me. You, I know you can get it if you slide really aggressively. Your guy like sort of gets to the floor, and you can get a near miss count. But uh, like there should have been two there, right? Rather than just the one. I was trying to get close enough that I could just blitz past both of those trees. I think this should count as a near miss. I'm pretty sure it is. Um. I won't get one there, I won't get one there. That's a good little node though. Yeah, only two near misses. It's not a problem. Uh, I'll do the helmet cam. Oh, it's in the straight line and there's a bunch of flips. Who knows what's actually going to happen. Alright, nice. Uh, ooh. 
I'll do this one. Is it dusk already? This game looks really nice when it's at dusk. Uh, no, in the forest. It looks really nice at dusk. Not everywhere, but definitely in the forest. It looks amazing at dusk. I don't think this is... No, it's definitely not dusk. Oh, I should have not braked. I don't want to be sending it too hard at the loop the loop. Otherwise, I might have gone through it. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I'm not good. Okay, I'm fine. See? I uh, wasn't really ready for that, so I took the ramp kind of wrong. But then bail, so, you know, I'm good enough at playing this game that I can sort of bend my own rules. That's another node done, and I will be taking flip seed. Why not? Uh, yeah, still at dusk. Uh, I'll do this one. I could go... Yeah. Why not? I'll I'll go visit the Mega Ramp. We've got one that's already more or less close to it. Need to tick a few of these off anyway. I think we've unlocked the boss jump either way. So if the next one is the Mega Ramp and it's at dusk, uh, first of all, I'll be skipping the fact that it'll be at dusk because they have set skyboxes, so they're not as dynamic as these ones are. Even though these aren't like crazy dynamic, like they don't follow time, they don't actually change. So if you go in at night or or at dusk or anything, uh, the little special bonus node will not have any lighting effect to it. It will just look how it looks every single time that you go there. Oh, I think it's still daytime, holy. Okay, well, we'll do the mega ramp just because it's a super short node. I won't be doing anything crazy on it, don't worry about that. Just a couple of a couple of these bad boys. Just a simple one of those. And I'll be heading out. See you later, lads. Uh, yeah, it's a 16 second node that then let me switch to the daytime, so I'm kind of up for that. So yeah, I'll be doing this one at dusk and then the other boss jump, and I think that's all of our things ticked off the list. In 20 minutes, holy. Yeah, when I say this game looks amazing at dusk, it it does. This game just looks great at dusk in the forest. They really nailed the lighting. It just looks awesome. Hey, and another life. I'll be taking that. That's one done at dusk, and here comes the second one. And then hopefully the bush jump as well. If it spawns properly, because sometimes it doesn't. Please spawn nicely. I would like it to. I just want it to spawn nicely. Please. Because sometimes you get it. It's super, super steep at the start, which I'm already not liking. And then it's not steep at all near the boss jump. Like, what is that about? Like, what is that about? For real. It makes no sense. And I feel like it's already happened. I feel like this is another bug node. Uh, yeah, look at how shallow this build-up is. Unless it all of a sudden just goes mega steep. Uh, might be able to make it. Can I make it? I just need to make it on the roof. Cock. I didn't get the bounce. Never mind. It's okay. Yeah, I can definitely make it. Because I can land on the roof and then hop straight back off. I mean, if I moon jump it... Uh, no, I didn't get to. Oh well. Hey. And I'll get another clean landing. There we go. And that is us done for today. That's another one done. Four ticked. Done. And then I think it's survived. The boss jump is going to pop up next. Boom. That's done. End session. We're outie. Thank you very much. 14 minutes. Felt a bit longer than that. Okay. Zero on goggles. The ones that look like they could have been animated, but they didn't. But these are still cool. I think they look really nice. Right. Let me go to the enemy office and click to my tasks. And there's some new bits and bobs. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to hand you over to my members screen. Thank you all very much for watching and thank you very much to my money havers, Psycho, Andrew, Francis, Grimm, Hunter, Maverick, Luna and James. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Subscribe for more of this stuff and I'll see you a lot later. Have a good rest of your day.